Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making goodies. Bunnies. <laughs> goodies. <laughs> just teasing. Not good ease, not to eat. Just teasing, guys. I just took it off. I stopped to hand mix some of it. Make sure it gets all so we don't have white. But it should not be white. Talk to the people, honey. Sorry. I would show you these, but my- You already glittered them. I know, I went a little nuts glittering them. Sorry. Well, you kind of see, right? A little bit? Tip her a little bit. Or tip it? And see? Oh, I can't really show you. You just have to- Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Sorry about my arm being in the way. Apologize. Gotta put our secret sauce in. Stop. Are you kidding? Now this is not a Nordicware pan, so. No, these are something else. I don't even know what they call them. There's no name on it. It's like aluminum cast, right? Yeah, but it's not heavy cast. No. So I have to use the wooden spoon <coughs> to knock them out. <clears throat> it's a good idea. You guys probably know this already. If you do bath bombs, that uh, you, ha you have to make sure they're level on your mold. If you do them in pans, that's what he's saying. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Or they crack. See, see how nice and level that is? That's what you want. It's, it's kind of a patient thing too. But you guys will get it. You'll have less cracks if they're even like that. Okay, you good? All right. I think that one's probably good. Yup. Then, if you're going to reuse the pan, I highly recommend you hit it again with your, you know, your dust, whatever you call it. Oh, what we, snowflake sparkle. Snowflake sparkle. It's a mica. It's a mica. Sorry. <laughs> it definitely helps keep the, the keeps it out of the pan. It helps it helps it to keep from sticking in the there pan. There we go. What she said. And you can't use a, a rubber mallet, especially with aluminum. You can with heavy cast aluminum with Nordic wear. But no, not with Wilton and stuff like that. This is like Wilton, but I think it is Wilton. These are so cute. Yeah, they're cute. Spray these two. Yeah. Okay. Highly recommend if you ever do bath bombs on your own, spray every time you do the mold. Oh, not in the round ones. I don't ever spray. Round well, ones. I know, but the ones that have detail in the pans, it's a good idea. Oh, well. Woohoo! Thank you. Did 
one on your uh, design the pan to come out. I'm sorry, these are adorable. You could help start loading some up. Okay. Hope you guys are going to like these. We're going to have invites. I know. Oh, no. How many are we doing? Cool. Oh, oh wow. almost forgot. Sorry, it's finding light. It's okay. It's not. You'll see in the pictures. Yep. Oh, by the way, that's what they are. <laughs> Sorry. You're like, I can't see it. Now you can see it. Yeah, look how lovely and so much it's level. Oh, this smells so good. Right? Did I tell you guys we use ginger lime? It smells like heaven. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the last one. Okay. I know, we, used, we were going to just use a little bit, and then we a little crazy. <laughs> well, she was coming out so good, so. I know, right? Sorry. Well. Okay. She, he, whatever. I know, right? I apologize. I keep saying right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You already stopped yourself. Mine really, really picks good. up bad habits. He listens to other people and then he starts saying the things they say. Ad nauseum. There's a word for you, honey. You can use that one. Ad nauseum. Every time you want to say that other thing, you just say ad nauseum. <laughs> Very cool. This is just a little baby. Alright guys, so we will review the pictures. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. See